ridden a horse before? Yeah. What was his name? I don't know. Uh huh. I don't remember. It's been a long while. Uh huh. What are the, what are the commands? Giddy up. <laughs> stop. Kick your heels in. Don't make poop it go. there. <laughs> interested in hearing more about one of the free hidden attractions in Moab. The Red Cliffs Lodge, where the horseback ride takes place, actually houses the Moab Museum of Film and Western Heritage. Many famous movies, commercials, and TV shows, such as those scrolling below, have been filmed there. You can see the actual artifacts from movies, photos, posters that document the movie history in Moab. The first major motion pictures filmed in the Moab area around the 1940s were set right here at Red Cliffs Ranch. Stars like John Wayne, Maureen O'Hara, Tom Cruise, Rock Hudson, Henry Fonda, Jimmy Stewart, and many more have all worked on location at Red Cliffs Ranch. This museum houses memorabilia from the earliest of films to the present and is ever-changing. It's definitely worth a visit, even if you're not staying at the lodge. And best of all, it is free. Hey, let's try this again. We're here at Red Cliffs Lodge and we're going to do a little horseback riding today uh, here in Castle Valley area, Moab, in some beautiful mountains. We've ridden two wheel horses and now we're going to ride four legged horses. But uh, headed to the stables shortly. And it should be a beautiful ride. Okay, so here we are, I'm walking down the cow sheep to go to the corral, and uh, I've got my ride partner with me. Oops. We'll see if we can ride some horses today. Here we go, across a nice little stream. It's part of Onion Creek, I bet. We'll see more of Onion Creek tomorrow. We've got to pull back. Did you figure it out? Oh, look at you. You are a cowgirl. So if you're 18 and over, you're each going to have to fill out a waiver form. Date up here. Uh, sign, print and sign your name. And then if you don't want to wear a helmet, please make sure that you sign this line right above the bold, okay? Gently sit down, okay? Um, don't worry about those stirrups just yet. We'll take care of that for you. I'll explain that later. So once you're sitting on your saddle, um, we're going to go over some safety things, okay? So what's the number one rule of horseback riding? Can anyone guess? No? Don't fall off your horse. <laughs> that is the number one rule. Don't fall off. So to help you with that, you always want to make sure your saddle is centered. Uh, meaning that the mane, the horn, and um, your belly button is all in line. 
So, because sometimes, you know, your saddle tends to shift a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell, but these guys are pretty round from the winter time. <laughs> they ate a lot. So, it tends to shift a little bit. That's completely fine. But we just want to make sure for your safety that it's centered. So, if that happens, you can stand up in your stirrups and you can shift it over in the opposite direction um, to get it centered again. Now, if you're doing that um, more than one or two times, just let us know. We can fix it for you. We don't want you um, fighting your saddle the entire time, okay? All right. Um, also, another thing to help keep your saddle centered, um, make sure you're, like, sitting right here because if you're, like, off to the side or the other side, like, that tends to affect the saddle. So just try to stay centered. Most important thing, okay? And also your feet and your stirrups. Okay. Number two reins. Make sure you're holding on to these at all times, okay? Um, they're going to have this nifty little knot here that will tie for you, so you always know that you're going to hold right underneath this knot, kind of like an ice cream cone, okay? We don't want to see this. We don't want to see this, you know? Um, just for everyone's safety, hold right underneath this knot, okay? Um, so whenever, uh, we highly encourage everyone taking pictures and getting a drink of water, um, just make sure that you put that knot right behind the horn so the reins don't fall, okay? That's another big safety thing. Um, so we highly encourage you taking pictures of water, just remember to put that right back there, okay? Um, number three. This is a walk-only trail, okay? So please do not hold back your horse and then trot forward. Uh, the, the trail tends to get very steep and rocky, um, so for everyone's safety, it is a walk-only trail, okay? Um, with that being said, also another important thing is spacing. Make sure there's always like half a horse's length in front of you and the rider in front of you, because um, sometimes these horses like to bite the others in the butt. Or they, they, for some reason, they love to like ride up on the other horse, but they don't like it when the horse behind them does that to them. <laughs> I don't know why. But that's just something to keep in mind. Spacing is very important. Um, okay, so how to get your horse to go. This is kind of like your steering wheel and your brakes, okay? So whenever you get your feet correctly in the stirrups and you got your hands right underneath that knot, you're just going to go ahead and give them a squeeze to get them to go, just like that. Now some of these horses are a little bit more duller than others, so if they don't go after a squeeze, don't be afraid to give them a little kick, kick, kick. Um, you're not going to hurt them. Like compared to our spurs, your tennis shoes feel like pillows, okay? <laughs> don't be afraid to put a little weight behind them. Alright, so western riding, this is called neck reining, so it's really easy to turn them. If you want to go right, you just turn them to the right, and if you want to go left, just turn to the left. As soon as you got them where you want to, you just put them right back in front of that horn. Now, if you need to pull back your horse a little bit, if they're going too fast, you're just going to pull straight back to your belly button or chest. Once they stop and all four legs are standing still, make sure you put your hand right in front of that horn again, because these horses are trained that if you keep pulling your brakes, they're going to back right up, okay? So if your horse is backing up, just put your hand forward. <laughs> This is Lefty. You guys look very regal on the, on the two of the tallest ones. <laughs> <laughs> Big horse. Yep. Shadows now. I know it, Lefty. The beautiful sun.
She's gonna do the hill climb now. Good job, Lefty. I hear them rocks hitting those shoes. Oh, look at that beautiful valley over there. All right, Lefty, let's see you negotiate this thing. Steep downhill, isn't it, Lefty? A lot of rocks, guys. Gotta keep them horseshoes sharp. Creek crossing. Onion Creek on a horse. Mm. I see why they want you to wear long pants now. <laughs> Hungry. Lefty wants to eat. Come on, Lefty. Let's go. <laughs> I'm a hungry horse. Dang. Come on. It's just pretty and green in it, Lefty. Ride down this creek. Good job, Lefty. Good job. Almost home, Lefty. Red Cliff Ranch. Oh. 